In these challenging times, with thousands of teachers and students working and learning remotely, data protection has become the first line of defence for safeguarding children. The impact on learning of the COVID-19 pandemic cannot be underestimated. Children and parents find themselves in new territory. Working from home is a real game changer. However, the need to protect children from harm remains unchanged and it is the highest priority. Be under no illusions. Teachers and children working from home may encounter much higher risks. Sadly, there are criminals, including paedophiles, and unfortunately sometimes other young people, who want to prey on children, vulnerable adults and others at risk right in their own homes. However, with simple planning and by applying common sense, we can all reduce those risks. Here's some advice to share. Only take advice regarding laptop settings from a trusted source. Never follow any advice from someone who calls you randomly. One of the first things we always say when working at home is it's essential that all devices are fully up to date with the latest security update and patches installed and that we all have appropriate and updated antivirus and anti-malware installed. After that, it's always a case of being really careful about which websites you visit, checking for the padlock before the URL name so that you know it's a secure site, and of course, don't open any email attachments from any unknown sources. If in doubt, leave it alone. The offer of free resources and support when students are not at school is great. However, do not use any sites that ask you or your child to input personal data or to download files until they've been properly checked out. If you're in any doubt, ask advice from your school. Be very careful with video conferencing. You should never turn on your camera to anyone you don't know. If you do know them, you should only show your head and shoulders, please. If you feel at any point your device has become compromised, or your PC has been infected, then stop. We're all putting together to make sure that when coronavirus goes away, all children can learn together again in the classroom, with newfound skills and a better understanding of the new world ahead. Working together, we can protect the children in our care.